What is going on everybody? So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this game, Division Resurgence, and how I honestly think this might be the biggest Division game to, I would say, ever release. And I know a lot of you guys say, skills, this is a mobile game, there is no way. But the more I see gameplay from the Division Resurgence, the more I learn about it, and the more I learn more about mobile games on the rise, I realize that this free to play game could be the biggest division game yet. And it's kind of weird to say that because division one was big, division two was big, but I think this game right here, division resurgence will be the biggest division game to date. And who knows, maybe division heartland will be the next biggest game after that. But I think Division Resurgence, based on it being a free to play game and based on the mobile market and how big it's gotten over the last couple years, that this game, if they create the masterpieces that we're used to in the Division, but make a mobile version of it, it's gonna attract a lot of players. And what we'll do here is I definitely wanna get into the numbers because there was a new study by Data AI. They revealed that mobile gaming is fast outgrowing the gaming industry as a whole and is set to snag 61% of the entire market share in 2022. And if we look at this chart right here, you can see they're projecting that mobile gaming as a whole is gonna hit 136 billion. And then if you look at PC, Mac gaming, and then home consoles, we have 42 billion and 40 billion. And then obviously you have your handheld consoles, which are lagging behind at 4 billion because there wasn't a lot, but that is starting to change too. But mobile gaming as a whole seems like it will be leading the way. Now the report titled Gaming Spotlight 2022 has estimated that mobile gaming will reach a validation of 136 billion out of a total market size of 222 billion the estimate was reached after seeing users all over the world download 45 percent more mobile games per week during the first quarter of 2021 compared to the pre-pandemic levels this number amounted to a staggering 1.1 billion mobile games downloaded per week during that period now if you just think about those numbers alone imagine how many division new sorry new division players will be brought into the division franchise and we're all all of us division vets know how good of a game this is right a lot of us has played from division one all the way to division two and now we might have a mobile game that might just be as good but it's free obviously there's going to be microtransactions and that will dictate whether some players wish to play the game or not but the fact that the game is free to play and the player base of mobile games is so massive, the upside for the division going forward is a win-win, right? No wonder Ubisoft wanted to go into the mobile market and they wanted to bring one of their bigger titles. And if we take a look at this chart right here, you can see we have 2019 in black, in light pink, we have 2020, and then in that purplish dark pink, we have 2021. And if you look down at the bottom, you can see Japan on the left, France, South Korea, United Kingdom, Germany, and United States. And from 2019 to 2021, the numbers have just continued to increase. And if you notice, the United States has one of the smaller mobile markets right now. So a lot of you guys watching this channel might not agree that this could be a big game, or a lot of you guys are already writing this off. But just look at the worldwide exposure to this game that it will get based on this chart alone. There's a ton of countries who are big into mobile gaming, bringing, like I said, a bigger player base to such a great franchise. And with so much money to be made, no wonder you're seeing companies like Activision and Ubisoft deciding to go the mobile route too. There have been very successful mobile games from Fortnite Mobile to PUBG Mobile to Apex Legend Mobile, and even more recently, Call of Duty Mobile was very successful. And they recently announced that they're gonna bring Warzone to the mobile device. And then Ubisoft recently announced that they're gonna have an Assassin's Creed Mobile. Obviously, you guys probably have already heard of the Rainbow Six Siege Mobile coming. They have the Division Resurgence Mobile. So they're going 
very heavy in the mobile route too. And if you just look at the numbers, it all makes sense. And as a division content creator, as a division fan, I'm excited about this game. At first, I was unsure, but once I saw the gameplay, I was very impressed. They have open world activities, they have missions, they even have competitive PVP modes, and they're going to have a dark zone with their own twist on it. And we'll talk about that in a second. But what really stood out to me is where this game brought me back to. Back to the roots, back to New York City where it all started for me in Division One. So this environment I'm used to, and I'm excited to go back to New York City. I'm excited to be in the snow, and I'm excited to see what developers have planned for this game. And I'm not a mobile first gamer either. I enjoy playing my games on a monitor or on a big TV. I've never been a huge mobile gamer, but there's something about this game that I can see myself playing. It brings me back to the old PSP days when I used to play some of those games on a handheld device. Now, we're just really playing on our mobile device and with mobile technology just being so much more advanced. And nowadays, there are accessories that you can attach to your phone like the Backbone, which give you thumbsticks and give you L1, L2, R1, R2 button. And even most mobile games provide controlled support which the developers have said Division Resurgence will have controller support, which is amazing because not everybody wants to keep touching their screen, but if you have the buttons on the side, like a device like the Backbone, or if they have controller support, it makes it that much easier. Now, I wasn't sure how big this game was going to be, but from all the gameplay we've got to see, this game is going to be a full-size Division game. We even have our own base of operation, which you're actually seeing here. They get to show us little clips of the specialization quartermaster, where we get to see new specializations that we didn't have in Division 2. And I'm excited for this. And you get to see a skill tree for those specializations. And so far, we know there's four different specializations. So learning more about what's going to be different in each specialization tree, along with their new weapon progression system that we've never seen before in a division game. This is all exciting stuff. And whether you're just a console gamer or a PC gamer, I think everyone in the division franchise should definitely be excited about this game. And I know a lot of you guys are definitely a little bit scared, a little bit worried on how the microtransactions are gonna take place in this game and we just don't know. But what I will tell you is, so far what I've seen of the core of this game, it's coming out to be very impressive. Oh, and I haven't even got into the details about the new Dark Zone coming to Division Resurgence. And why I say it's new is because it's their own twist. And I honestly think this might be a game changer for the Dark Zone because what they're doing with the Dark Zone in the Division Resurgence, it's no longer you just go in there, you run around, and you might never see anybody. Well, they switched it up a little. And what it reminds me of is in survival when you had a timer and you had to get out during that specific time. Well, that's what they're doing with the Division Resurgence. When you enter the Dark Zone, you have a 20 minute timer and you have 20 minutes before your mask goes out. And if you allow your mask to go out, well, you obviously know what's gonna happen to you. So 20 minutes is the time that you have to either farm the dark zone, get the loot and extract it. And what happens when you try to extract? Well, everybody's gonna know. And that's when you're gonna have those intense gameplay battles. So that's what I'm most excited for. The new twist on the dark zone in the division resurgence. And that's why I honestly think this might be the biggest division game that we have seen in our time. I think it's gonna be bigger than Division 1, and I think it's gonna be bigger than Division 2. And the mere fact is because the player base on mobile gaming continues to grow, and mobile gaming is becoming more and more popular. And when I say that, 
the numbers don't lie. So what we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna wrap up the video. I wanna know, will you guys be giving Division Resurgence a chance? And if you guys watch this video to the very end, I definitely appreciate you. And if you guys could do me a small favor and leave me a thumbs up, I would very much appreciate. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, ain't nothing but skills is out.